So once you were in a position to hire people, what would you look for in a reporter? Well, in terms of conversation, you could you could probably determine, I don't mean in five-minute conversation, but you could probably determine whether those people had were ambitious, uh, solid, ethical to the best that you could determine that they were, uh, wanted to do a good job, and had some experience, uh, I don't mean just college experience, but had shown in college that they had internships, done X, Y, and Z, and were ready to work for a newspaper of size of 50,000. AP, of course, you got people that worked other places, so that wasn't that big a, uh, a guess as to whether they could do it. Yeah. Did you ever have to um, discipline or fire anybody for an ethical lapse or, you know, gross ethical violation or? Jesus. We we fired people who didn't just didn't make it because they, you know, they weren't strong enough either as writers or reporters that had nothing to do with ethics. But uh, I the only case I recall was an intern when I was working with the Bridgewater Courier News an intern from Rutgers who uh, he was he was quite good quite smart and. Uh, I think he went into government after he got out of school, but he went out on a on the Republican campaign. We sent him out to cover some Republican event, and he was going to cover the Democrat, the, you know, and he was going to get those secondary political assignments during the summer, the stuff that went on at night, so that the guy who mainly covered, you know, the big stuff for the debates uh, didn't have to do all that. And and the student wanted to do it, and he was he was quite good. I mean, he, he had established that he could do this kind of work. Um, but he went down to a Republican rally and started telling them, uh, oh, I got, it, I got it backwards. He, he went to the Republican rally, covered it okay, but then went to the Democratic rally, counterpart, and told them what the Republicans were doing and what they were up to. So he got himself involved in the process. Hmm. So because he was an intern, we just told him, you know, you you should have known better. Uh, we didn't anticipate he'd do that. But he said he just was more aligned with the Democrats. And we said, well, you just can't cover politics the rest of the <laughs> summer. But, you know, and he, he was going into government anyway, it turned out. But yeah. that was the only one, and perhaps he should have been uh, counseled before he went out. But then again, uh, in that era, nobody expected, I don't think, to go out and cover one and tell the other one what they were doing. So, uh, yeah. But that was the only one I, I can recall. Can you recall any times when uh, any place where you worked where there was just a barrage of phone calls or uh, um, from angry readers or letters, you know, that something where the, pe the public really got upset with something <coughs> that you or your paper had done and what it was? The gun lobby uh, <coughs> was always active. And every Occasionally, there'll be an editorial that guns should be controlled, uh, and then you get a barrage of phone calls. But if you really tracked them, most of them came from outside the market. So it was the campaign from wherever, uh, orchestrated from usually a different county. Uh, there was one that was quite funny in Rochester, New York, where the Albany paper was the Times Union, and the Rochester paper was the Times Union. and one night we started getting calls about some uh, story about uh, you guys are always covering the Italians in a negative fashion and the, the mob, et cetera. And I was going through the paper and going through the paper. I was working nights. I couldn't find any stories. And finally, I asked the person, next person, where they were calling from. And they were calling from a suburb of Albany. So some idiot had told them that the Times Union was over in Rochester, and this group marshaled the calls, but they called the wrong newspaper. <laughs> so I tried to convince the next caller of that, and, and ultimately about the third or fourth one got it. But uh, it was one of those that you say, hey, you know, <laughs> get a little smarter. Yeah, right.